everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Kamoy. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hi. I know I've been going for about three weeks, but that is because I have been traveling. I work in the music entertainment field, so a week's travel turned into almost two, um, two and a half to three weeks. <clears throat> Uh, of being away from home, so I was not able to upload videos like I wanted to. Okay, guys, so a little disclaimer before I jump into your reading, my wonderful, wonderful Sagittarius, and this is my last video, and then I'm all caught up, okay? I understand that these videos are not for everyone, and energy is fluid, so you want to take what you need and leave what you do not. If you are not into self-mastery, and you are not into doing your own spiritual work and the own, your own inner work, then I'm just going to tell you right now, you want to click off this video because these are not for you okay however if you are into self mastery because these are what these videos are about you can definitely stay tuned because you might find something here these videos are for my light workers my empath anyone that's speaking spiritual growth spiritual understanding spiritual wisdom spiritual guidance spiritual knowledge maybe messages from your guys and angels things that you've asked questions about you will be able to find hopefully a little bit of everything here if you're into signs and symbols okay we're going to jump right into your reading thanking our angels our guys our ancestors our higher selves okay we're going to thank our feminine and masculine energy we're going to thank all of the positive energy in the atmosphere that's here to guide protect and support us that's going to give us the strength the clarity the understanding and the wisdom to move accordingly when we need to okay i am a certified reiki healer so i do chakra pulls in my readings okay that's how i begin my readings and then we build from there so i'm just going to go ahead and pull your two chakra cards uh, all right my wonderful sagittarius i hope you guys have been doing great for these past three weeks we're going to be doing your reading from the energy of the full moon in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all about intuitive energy, okay? Uh, okay, you guys have um, Sakwa Chakra energy popping up this week. Your Sakwa Chakra is responsible for your emotions, your relationship, and change, okay? You also have root chakra energy popping up. Your root chakra is responsible for what grounds you, okay? Your root chakra is where your fear and your anxiety comes from, okay? So it's asking you to pay attention to what's grounding you and you operate and move it in fear and anxiety, okay? You have perseverance, which means you're going to have to push through some shit. And you have renewal, which means you're going to have to let go of some shit, okay? So let's go ahead. And we're going to do a five-card diamond pull to clarify your chakra chakra energy, which is asking you to pay attention to your relationships and your emotions and the change that's coming in. And your root chakra that's asking you to be open to the renewal that's coming in and release all fear and anxiety, okay? We're going to be doing the diamond pull using the Zen deck, okay? Okay. All right, the first card that popped up in the first placement, which is the overall issue, is past lives. And past lives is a um, major kind of card. And you can actually say that this would be the moon card. Okay? And the moon card has to do with your emotions. The moon has to do with your fears. The moon card has to do with anxiety, what's making you anxious, your insecurities, okay? The moon card also represents your subconscious, okay? The moon card really calls for you to release the shit that no longer serves you as far as fear is concerned, okay? And that is in your, fir your first card placement. So we're paying attention to your fear and your anxieties in this reading, okay? Or what's causing your fear and anxieties. All right, what is in the second card placement do you have for my wonderful, wonderful Sagittarius? In your second card placement, which is all about what's going on internally that you may not know about, you have rightness, which is the nine of rainbow, a.k.a. the nine of um, pentacles. Pentacles energy is all about the physical senses, the material world, okay? This this will be anything in this physical third dimensional realm. When the nine of pentacles pop up, it's either asking you to stand from a place of gratitude and self-sufficiency, or it's saying to you that you put in a lot of work and investment um, 
and you're just putting in more than you need to, okay? This can also be maybe financial setbacks, all right? All right, what do you have for the wonderful Sagittarius? And the third card placement, which will be your right now moment, um, things that you are aware that's going on, okay? I like to call this placement the Holy Trinity Manifestation because this is where what you feel in your heart chakra, what you speak in your throat chakra, what you don't speak in your throat chakra, and what you're seeing in your third eye chakra comes into manifestation. However, your heart chakra is going to trump all that shit. Okay, so you can say you're rich as hell, but still think you don't deserve wealth and you're not going to get wealth because you feel like you're not in deserving of wealth. Okay, so in your, your third card placement, which is what you know is going on right now, um, what you may be aware of going on right now, you have the Ten of Ear. The Ten of Ears, a.k.a. the Ten of Swords, okay? The Ten of Swords energy is all about rebirth. So you have um, renewal and rebirth popping up here. And you, what are you renewing and rebirth from? The Ten of Swords, a.k.a. the Ten of Ear, could also be some backstabbing betrayal shit that went down, okay? Um, maybe some type of crisis, feeling like you're defeated, okay? Definitely some betrayal shit, okay? Um, this could also, um, as rebirth, right? As rebirth, this can also be you recovering from shit, right? This can also be you um, moving past fear, okay? And that would be fear in your mental and your spiritual thinking because air, cards, and swords, you know, um, this, your swords, cards that represent swords are all about your thinking, your spiritual and your mental thinking. All right. What do you have for my wonderful... Sagittarius and their fourth card placement, which I like to call your alchemy placement. And your fourth card placement is what is needed for resolution, okay? What do you have? Okay. You have the Knight of Rainbow, a.k.a. the Knight of um, Pentacles, okay? When the Knight of Pentacles pop up on the board, this is all about efficiency. This is all about being methodical, and this is all about you having to come up with a routine that serves you. The turtle represents you being able to carry your truth and who you really are no matter where you go, okay? What do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius in their final card placement, which would be the fifth card placement? The number five represents change, okay? And that placement is what is needed for understanding or resolution, okay? What do you have for my wonderful, wonderful Sagittarius in their fifth card placement? What do you have? Okay, you have another major Akana card, which is um, the Sun card is popping up here, okay? The Sun card is asking you to come back to a place of innocence, right? Where everything is beautiful and you're learning from all of the bullshit, even, e even the things... Um, that you find um, traumatic, you now able to put in, into perspective and learn from them, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and clarify your cards, all right? Let's start with your first card placement where you have the moon card popping up and asking you to pay attention to your fears and your insecurity. And some of you may be doing some deep subconscious work, especially if you're on your, your spiritual path. This is about letting go of fear and releasing whatever unhappiness that you've been um, dealing with, okay? Clarifying that energy with the moon card. You have the Knight of Earth showing up, a.k.a. the Knight of Pentacles, again, showing up, and it's showing up twice. It's showing up in your fourth card placement here, okay, as the Knight of Rainbow, and it's showing up here as the Knight of Earth, a.k.a. the Knight of Pentacles, all right? This is asking you that it's time for you to be able to buckle down and get things done to be able to know that you're being guided. This is this is all about you being methodical and I said coming up with a routine that serves you, okay? Not somebody else's routine, but your routine. Pay attention to your intuition, especially um, with that, that full moon energy that we just went through. Pay attention to your intuition. That's going to be very important for you. So we don't get them. You got the page of fire on the board. Page represents messages and fire energy represents your intuition. Okay. 
Um, you have good and exciting shit coming in your way, but you can't let your fear stop you, okay? You're going to have to be able to stand in your own individual originality, okay? And, and stand in your integrity also. If you're going to do something, do what you say you're going to do, okay? This is also clarified by the two of um, fire and the two of water, okay? So you have fire and water. <laughs> what a combination, right? Okay. Once again, fire energy represents your intuition. And the two of fire is all about you stepping into your own. It's all about you planning for the future, okay? This is all about new partnerships coming in. Some of you may be signing new contracts when it comes to business relationships, right? But pay attention once again to the things that you deem fearful, and if intuitively you feel like you shouldn't move or you shouldn't act on that, pay attention to your intuition, okay? The two of um, water, a.k.a. the two of cups, talks about unified love. This is about partnerships. This is about attraction, okay? Um, this is about relationships, okay? Yep. You're going to have to deal with the things that you feel insecure about within your relationships, even if it's a business relationship, okay? Because this is really stopping you from stepping into your, um, your boss shit. I'm hearing that song by Justin Timberlake, I'm Bringing Sexy Back, so we're going to see where that fits, Okay. Yeah, the Two of Cups is asking you to forgive some shit, too. And it's also saying that you have some relationships that are going to grow closer, all right? Um, and there's going to be positive resolution to some of the um, the arguments and the conflicts and tensions that you've been having, okay? Yeah, this is why you're going to have to persevere through some shit and release the shit that's not yours, that's, that's not serving you, okay? Let's go to your second card placement and clarify that. You had the Nine of Rainbow, a.k.a. the Nine of Pentacles, showing up in your second card placement. Remember, that placement is all about shit that's going on internally that you may not be aware of, okay? With the Nine of Rainbow, a.k.a. the Nine of Pentacles on the board, it's either asking you to step into a place of gratitude, right? Um, or it's saying to you, don't get caught up in the financial setback that you have because you do have things moving in motion. You're going to have to persevere through some shit. Okay, and all of that work that you feel that you've been putting in, okay, shit is coming into ripeness. You're just going to have to sit in a place of gratitude, especially if you're a light worker or an energy healer or you're ascending and you're all on your law of attraction and positive shit, right? You're going to have to see things as being completed and fulfilled and ripe. You can't see things in lack, okay? Clarify this nine of pentacles, aka this nine of visual energy. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles, a.k.a. this Nine of Rainbow Energy for my wonderful Sagittarius. You got the Two of Ear. Remember, Ear represents your thinking, your spiritual and your mental thinking, okay? Now, let me just say this. This is your third number two card popping up on the board, okay? The Two of Ear is all about um, choices and maybe being indecisive about the decisions that you have to make, right? Um, this can also represent blocked emotions like you're not really um expressing yourself okay so you're gonna have to do that okay whatever decisions or um that you felt that you may not have been um able to release it's safe for you to do so now right um some of you may just feel like you're, you're on emotion, um, information overload. Like, there's so much shit coming in. Like, you, you just feel like you've been overloaded. And if that's the case, you're definitely going to have to get back to a place of renewal. You're going to really have to see things the way that you want to see them. You can see things over here as in lack and being stuck in the world, right? Everything is cold and rigid. Or you can start to see... Life unfolding the way you want it to unfold. And this happens only with peace and balance from within. You got to go within for this shit. You're not going to get this shit outside of yourself. Okay? You're not. Okay. You got another major kind of card showing up on the board. You got death showing up on the board. This is Scorpio. Okay? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, when that shows up, this is all about endings and beginnings. This is all about change. Okay, 
This is all about transformation, particularly a spiritual transformation, okay? This is all about you moving on from shit that no longer serve you, okay? Death to the old, birth to the new, okay? Clarify the debt slash release card. You will be releasing things. Okay, and if this is not your energy, this could be the in energy that you're interacting with. So you will be releasing things, especially from a mental um, and spiritual place. Yeah, you're going to be releasing some shit. I hear the word detox. You're going to be detoxing. Yep, you got the three of ear on the boards. Okay, a.k.a. the three of swords. So this definitely was some painful shit. Some of you may have just been through a separation, okay? Maybe you have lost someone dear to you, all right? So, yeah, it's, it's this is some painful shit. It's time to heal. This is where this renewal is asking you to, to, um, to, to do, right? I advocate for meditation, okay? Um, yep, yeah, some of you are definitely going to have to take the time out to heal and to forgive other people, especially yourself is what I'm hearing, okay? Because this three of air energy is all about your spiritual and your mental thinking. But this is definitely something that you're replaying in your heart. This is heartbreak. This is some painful heartbreak shit. Okay. You got to deal with that pain and that heartbreak. So in, 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 um, internally, that's what's going on, okay? So if you find yourself lashing out, if you find yourself feeling like you really just don't want to be bothered with people and their bullshit, know that you're going through healing from whatever pain, okay? But you got good shit coming in, too. But you're, you're, you're healing, And you're going to have to stand in your truth. You're going to have to stand in your truth. That's going to be very important. Okay? All right. Let's go to your third card placement, which is all about what's going on right now. Yeah, right now, you in a ten of swords moment. That's that betrayal shit from this three of um, your energy over here. Okay? You're in that, that um, Ten of Swords energy. That's that betrayal, backstabbing shit. Okay, clarify this Ten of Ear, a.k.a. the Ten of Swords energy from a wonderful Sagittarius. Clarify this. I just feel like from some of you, it's like past shit that you may have been holding on to, especially if you just entered a new relationship. Yeah, this is rebirth because you got the king of water clarifying this 10 of air energy, all of this betrayal energy. You got the king of water coming in and saying emotional balance is at hand here. You can gain emotional balance. You just got to be open to the healing. Um, control is here, okay? Um, be, be open to love again, okay? As you're healing, especially love yourself again, okay? Because you will be drawing in um, trustworthy relationship if you learn the lessons that you were supposed to learn from this one, okay? Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, people, okay? My wonderful Sagittarius, this can be a friendship. This can be a partnership. This can be a relationship with a sibling, okay? Emotional balance is required here. Don't pop off with the mouth is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius, because you guys can be very blunt. You speak your mind, right? And you guys are usually right when you speak your mind because you're very intuitive, right? But sometimes your shit don't got no sugar on it. I'm just saying. All right? Okay. Clarify this king of energy. King of water energy that we have going on. So we know that with the, the ten of um ear aka the ten of swords is asking you to bring in emotional balance to all of that betrayal and maybe even the defeat that you felt or whatever loss that you felt you you, you know you're going through okay yeah because you got the five of ear on the board and once again ear represents your spiritual and your mental thinking the five of ear is some fucked up shit done happened you got the three of ear just saying pain. You got the um the ten of um ear saying pain. You got the five of ear saying conflict, betrayal. 
you just got a whole bunch of fucking, like, fucking... You got some shit going on in your right now, I'm up, man. And if it's not you, you got some shit, like the energy, you know... You, you may not be the one with the problem, but you may be interacting with this energy that has, the, you know... You got the eight up here on the board. Why have you been isolating yourself? <clears throat> or somebody's been isolating themselves or isolating them, their feelings, not really speaking about how they feel. Somebody may even feel trapped, okay? Somebody don't, somebody feel like, or somebody has no self-confidence so they don't feel like they can speak their truth, okay? Somebody's afraid to take action here. Somebody's not being themselves. Somebody is not being themselves. Kind of feel like you're holding on to shit from your past. Right? And your past can seep over into your future shit. Okay, you can let an ex come in and steal your fucking new relationship even if they're not physically there because you have not dealt with all of the emotional heartbreak and hurt okay from your past relationship we're going to jump to your fourth card placement which is all about your alchemy placement this is a self-mastery work that needs to be done and you have the page of rainbow i'm sorry the knight of rainbow aka the knight of pentacles this is all about being methodical and remember you had the knight that popped out twice you got the Knight of Earth here, a.k.a. the Knight of Pentacles here popping out twice. This is asking you just to operate with some integrity. Right? You're going to have to be more efficient in how you move, operate um, uh, methodically. Okay? Stand in your truth. Okay, this turtle once again represents you. You carry you no matter where you are. Okay? So get in your own routine. Get in your own rhythm. Right? Dance your own dance. All right, clarify this Knight of Pentacles energy, a.k.a. this Knight of Rainbow energy, in this fourth card placement for my wonderful Sagittarius. Okay, you got the Emperor on the board. Okay. Now, the Emperor energy is very strong energy. The Emperor energy is all about um, authority. This can be... This can be you... Um, Maybe even standing up to somebody that you felt was a, fa a father figure. Maybe even somebody with very dominating um, energy. Right? Or you could be the one with the dominating energy, um, Sagittarius. The Emperor is asking you to be more um, structured and disciplined. You may have to put your foot down in some things. Okay? Especially when it comes to this relationship that you're interacting with. But there's a lot of pain in this relationship. It doesn't feel like both of you are on the same page. Okay. It's like somebody's longing for healthiness, but you still have all of this pain going on. I'm hearing the spirit saying you need to laugh a little bit more. Okay, you got the nine of water, a.k.a. the nine of cups coming in and saying your wish is going to come through. You just need to work on yourself and deal with your shit. Press through this shit and renew. Take a time out if you need to. Okay, take a time out if you need to. Don't answer your fucking phone is what I just heard. Just like that. Okay. Yep. You got the four of fire popping up on the board. Fire has to do with your intuition, okay? Fire energy has to do with your intuition. The four of fire is all about you being able to come to a place of peace and contentment, okay? In order for you to come to a place of, a place of peace and contentment, you got to go within. And once you get to that peace and contentment, you're going to see how happy your home life could be. All right, this can also represent you being able to complete a project. The four of fire also represents marriage. It represents harmony. 
okay? It represents your home, maybe your community that you've built together of like-minded people, all right? The fourth fire could also represent this breakdown in communication, okay? Or maybe even somebody going to a transition, okay? Some of you could have recently lost somebody that transitioned. And if that's if that's resonating with you, I do hear that you you feel this person around you also. You still feel this person around you. But it kind of feels like if that's resonating with you, because what I'm feeling like is like they're saying it's okay for you to move on. Because it kind of feels like you feel like they betrayed you by leaving too early. Or they transitioned too early. Because I'm hearing, I know that was not the deal that we made. Sandra. I heard the words, the name Sandra. I know that was not the deal that we made. So you might be angry that they transitioned because you don't feel like, you don't feel like it was fear. You feel like they left you. They don't want you to feel like that anymore. They want you to move on. They want you to move on, honey. Yeah, they don't want you to feel like that anymore. They want you to come to a place of peace and contentment. And it's being offered to you. But you're going to have to do this work, okay? In your fifth card placement, which is a final outcome and the resolution that's needed for understanding, okay, and growth, you have... The sun card, innocence popping up, okay? The sun card is all about warmth, success. This is all about you going to a place within that you understand that you are light, okay? And I'm talking to my light workers here, okay? In order for you to get to a place of peace and contentment, you have to come back to a place of innocence within yourself where you understand that the light shines from inwardly out, okay? The sun card can also represent maybe a temporary lack of depression. Maybe some of you are going through a depression. And I can see that, especially if you've gone through this all of this grief process. I can see a temporary um, depression. Okay? All right. Clarify the sun card. It's, yeah, it's time for you to come up on out of that, though. Okay? Time for you to come on, come on up. Come on up out. All right, clarify the sun card. You are asking my wonderful Sagittarius to push through some stuff because you got the soccer shocker dealing with their emotions, okay, their relationships and change. And you got root chakra energy asking them it's time to renew and let go of their fears. Clarify how the sun card and innocence pops into this message for them. Clarify this message for them. Clarify the sun card. You got the night of fire popping up. Fire energy has to do with your intuition, okay? Um, you're going to have to pay attention to some things that's calling for your attention, okay? Um... Time is of the essence here. You don't have to make some choices, but you're going to have to think things through carefully, okay? Clarify the light of fire energy for my wonderful Sagittarius. You got to release this pain, guys. You got to release this pain. Yep. See, because as you t pay attention to the things that's calling um, your attention right now, especially when it comes to your emotions, right, what you're going to find is you have this six of ear energy popping up. Okay? Six of ear energy um, is all about you being able to see, which is also AKA the six of swords. Okay. This has to do with your mental and your spiritual thinking. I know it's repetitive, but I want you to understand where all this energy placed, you know, is placed in your, in the whole makeup of things. Okay. So the six of ear. Things are starting to look up, okay, especially from this difficult situation, this painful situation. It's okay if you feel like you need to take a trip and retreat so you can gain some renewal, right? Um, 
some of you some of you are feeling like you can't move on this thing has kind of made you frozen and you can't move on you're just carrying all this old baggage and it's asked you to push past that it's asking you to push past that because although it was painful, it's going to be necessary. You'll be able to use this in your transition as you move forward. It can actually in, 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 um, empower you, okay? You can look at it as a rite of passage, okay? And, and look at it as your pain is going to be your gain, okay? So you can look at it like that from that aspect of things, all right? Okay, let's post some romance card for you guys. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know what song I'm hearing is I can't stand the rain against my window. I can't stand the rain. I don't know whose song that who whose song that is. Against my window. Um But that's what I'm hearing. Okay? All right. What you got for my wonderful Sagittarius? Uh that are in relationships, okay? What do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius that are in committed relationships? What do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius that are in committed relationships? Okay, give me once. Let's see. Sorry about that. I do need to that okay Sagittarius that are in committed relationship what you have for my wonderful Sagittarius in committed relationships hmm. somebody may feel there's not enough love there yeah this shit may have caused a separation yep yeah. All of this painful shit that you're going through, this may have caused a separation, or this is about to cause a separation. Or now, I I know I have repeated this in several several of my videos. You do not have to be physically separated from somebody to be going through a separation. You can live in the same household with somebody and live two totally separate lives. Okay. You got unrequited love, unrequited love here, which is there's not enough chemistry in between the both of you. And this is probably from all of this heartbreak, okay? Somebody's very, very controlling. Yeah, and there's new love coming in, okay? Now, also, new love does not necessarily have to be somebody outside of of your relationship either it can be um healing within the relationship especially if you've been doing some work okay and allowing the universe to take care of things because you don't want to see your relationship um end and you've been doing the work that you needed to do to make the adjustments that you need to make within yourself please know okay new love can just be a new transforming love between you and your partner Okay, so that's for my couples. All right, what do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius? And I and if I can be honest with you, with all of this shit, I definitely am feeling more that new love will be a new love with a new person. Okay, because this is some heavy shit right here. Not to say you can't get past it, you know. Okay, all right. What do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius? that are newly separated and considering reconciliation. My Sagittarius that are separated and considering reconciliation. What do you have for my Sagittarius that are separated and considering reconciliation? It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Okay, yeah, you need to retreat. That's that renewal energy there. Okay, let's see if you need to retreat with that person. Mm, I'm saying it's saying it's time for it. yeah, disconnect from the world. Maybe even express yourself. Let's see what else they got. Okay. 
You need to decide what you want. That's what it's saying. Retreat and decide what you want. But I don't feel like this is a retreat with the partner. I feel like this is a retreat by yourself, trying to figure out exactly what you want. Yeah, I don't see this. Yep, you deserve love. Like, this shit done fucked you up. Okay. Yep. You need to step back and allow family issues to be healed. Whether or not this is issues on your end or their end, issues needs to be healed. Okay. Pull back and figure out what you want. Make a decision about what you want because you deserve love. And whatever family issues they got going on or whatever learnt behavior they learned with their, you know, within their family um, dynamics, you deserve love. Okay? All right. What do you have for my wonderful Sagittarius that are single, single, and ready to mingle? My wonderful Sagittarius that are single, single, and ready to mingle. Okay. You're pulling in positive energy. You could have possibly just met someone, okay? Um, yep. Yeah. You've met someone, and this could be the person that you've been pulling in. You do deserve love. You are lovable, okay? Um, and there is engagement on the horizon. This relationship could also be um, full of passion. You just need to decide what you want because you can't take past shit with you. Okay, so if you're holding on to past shit and this is why you're not letting this love in, yep, see, it is safe for you to love. Yep, let go of the past shit, it's safe for you to love. And I kind of feel like that was for Sandra um, with that transition. They don't want you by yourself, honey, okay? All right, Sandra, that's for you as well as all of my other single Sagittarius that this message resonates with. I want to thank you guys once again so much for clicking on this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Uh, also, guys, make sure you do something kind for yourself. Check out the description box below. You can find the link where you can schedule your 10-minute reading for a donation of $11.11. .11. Also, you can find my girl, Kim Warner's information in the description box. She does natal charts. That's a really good way for you to find out um, and have a forecast of what's happening and what's unfolding before shit does, okay? And what makes you who you are, okay? So check out her information in the description box. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you so much once again for clicking on my video. Be kind to yourself. Do something kind for yourself and drink plenty of water. Bye, guys.